Hello, this is John Neal here with the vlog 46, a three day trip to Yorkshire. I started off by doing a piece to camera here, but it was too windy, so I've got to do this voiceover. Seemed like a good idea at the time. What I'm explaining here is that the first stop is at this Three Acres restaurant and uh, hotel, right on the top of the uh, hills outside of Huddersfield. We're about 800 feet up and uh, right next to two big radio masts. And there's quite a view and for once it's a very nice day. Not often the case in Yorkshire. Margaret's parents moved to Huddersfield in 1952 and her mother has just moved out of the house that they lived in for all that time and she is now, today in fact, 93 years old. Margaret and I were married in 1974 in Huddersfield and we held our wedding reception at a pub which was on the top of Castle Hill but is no longer there, it's been demolished. The view from up here of the surrounding countryside is fantastic and you can see this Victorian tower from a long way off and I'll refer to it a few times when I show you some of the scenes around the area. Meanwhile here's the information board which is on the top of Castle Hill outlining the history. Uh, there's a link below as well for a Wikipedia page where you can read it at your leisure. So now it's time to head off down Castle Hill to the south side near Oldenbury and the country lanes, the stone walls and these buildings as you can see are really very picturesque and uh, on a day like today it was a real pleasure to drive through these lanes. I'll just pause the video here and you can look at these cottages which were built probably in the uh, 18th century for local workers on farms or possibly on, in quarries. And then some of the houses have been done up rather nicely as this one on the left. As we get down to this junction and turn left up this narrow lane, you'll see on the left is a converted mill, a woolen mill, and it's been turned into flats. This is fairly common practice and they're very solid buildings. where Margaret's mother used to live and her mum and dad. They've lived here since the 1950s. Yeah. The house was built about the 1930s. And uh, it's a little suburb of um, Huddersfield. And over this way, behind me, behind these trees, there's um, an area of land which floods over because there's a river comes down here. So we're going to go for a walk up the back here, up Colroyd, to a top road, and then along the back and all the way back down again. Yep. And uh, you get more of a view of what's around here. I'll have to say here how much I enjoy the variety of the countryside around Yorkshire. The towns are sort of settled into the valleys somewhat, and these steep hillsides are often not built on and it's quite easy to get into the countryside and the fields and woods, very close to the buildings and the houses, which is a feature you don't see much in the Midlands.
a walk around a couple of the blocks, as you Americans say, around near where my mother-in-law lives here in Huddersfield. And uh, here are some of the older style houses built out of Yorkshire stone. Many of them have been renovated with new windows and doors, but you can clearly see the sort of style and the size of them as well. They're not very big. And no doubt they were built for workers at the um, chemical factory just over the back here. You can also see a fine example of <laughs> rather small cars we've got along here. Because there's not much space. There's not much space for anything in places like this. There's not much space on the roads, in the houses. Not much space for cars, so everything's just a little bit smaller. Now, some of these older houses are built with traditional Yorkshire stone. And uh, this wall here is a very good example of it. The very common practice back in the day. And over here, they're renovating these houses. And they've taken, it appears, some of the stone away. Look, and this is the stone they will have used. They're not bricks, it's actually stone. Quarried locally and used for building making quite a nice job of it it seems. These are some fairly typical semi-detached houses that the average family would be living in and one of these in this area of the country is these are two houses here so the two right front doors so this property might be worth 200 250,000 pounds it's got a nice patch of ground to the side actually Whereas the others haven't got very big gardens. Sometimes the backs go quite a long way back. But there's the river ghost at the back here, which is quite pleasant. So they're not overlooked either. And it's a quiet little road as well. Whereas over this side are some slightly smaller sort of dormer houses with the lower roof and an upstairs poking through the roof. And these are some of the modern houses that um, are pretty popular around this area. Well, I hope that fine rendition of the theme tune to Last of the Summer Wine doesn't end up with this uh, video getting taken from YouTube. For those of you who don't know, Last of the Summer Wine was a British TV comedy set in Home Firth, about eight miles from Huddersfield, and these three retired characters just got up to lots of mischief and mishaps. Believe it or not, the show ran for 37 years from 1973 to 2010. Various characters came and went over the years, but one you might recognise is Peter Salis, who was on the right, and he was the voice of Wallace in Wallace and Gromit. I'll leave a link below and you can check out one of the episodes on YouTube. Well, back home now, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that little trip to Yorkshire. It's, uh, it's only 100 miles away, a couple of hours in the car, and uh, the countryside around there is just stunning. And it's close to the really picturesque areas of the Yorkshire Dales and then on into the Lake District, which isn't so far away either, further to the west, that is. Um, so it's always a pleasure to go up there. The countryside is so different to down here. And uh, it's an era that's coming to an end somewhat since Margaret's mum's the only one left up there and she's now 93. Right, I'll uh, talk to you again later. Bye-bye. No, 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 no. Na 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 na